What's up everybody? Happy St. Paddy's Day. This is Faust Callahan and we are playing some Elite Dangerous. Once again in the burning station collecting the items and trying to fill up our inventory just so we can make a lot of sales. Sales or missions. More or less missions we'll have to to complete. I got a lot in the bit so I can keep restarting the game. Restarting the game and then keep collecting more and more and more, which is not too bad. I just have to manage my heat, and everything is usually pretty good. So I, I wait till about like 95, around 95, so I can let these pop one, one of the heat sinks out. Excuse me, excuse me, just been drinking a little bit and burping up some. Not burping up, but just burping. <laughs> well, since it's St. Paddy's Day, I was I was thinking it's like, you know what, St. Paddy's is St. Paddy's Day. The saint, the guy, the person is known for going to Ireland and clearing all the snakes out. Like going around Ireland and killing all the snakes. So pretty much genociding all the snakes in that area. So they say that there's no snakes in Ireland that you have to worry about. And I'm like, huh. I don't know if that's true, that's fake, that's something that's just like a little joke that they say that they have there. But it is something they do say. Something they do say, and it's like, oh, oh my goodness, I did not know something like that. I don't even know if it's true. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. It's like one of their little things that they say about St. Patrick's, what he's done. And then I was looking at it a little bit, and they're saying in Ireland, just like the climate that they have, the area that it is. It's not a place that where you would see snakes. Yeah, so they're literally saying is what St. Patrick's is known for is actually not a thing. It's kind of like a little fake thing. So it's not even real that he cleared out the snakes. Because they, they say the just Ireland alone, just where it is, it's just not a climate that snakes would like. Snakes would stay away from an area like that. So, yeah, that's one little funny thing I, I was learning is that snakes aren't a thing in Ireland just because the climate is not good. And a lot of people think it's because of St. Patrick's and what he did clearing out the snakes by. He's considered a saint. And him being considered a saint is, I don't even, I didn't research too much, so I really don't know. But a lot of people joke about St. Patrick's Day. It's like, hey, St. Patrick's Day is a day I can, is uh, a fake Irish day, or I can claim I'm an Irish day, things like that. Or free kiss day, it's like, hey, I'm Irish, kiss me, so at least you, you, you can kiss. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably not like mouth to mouth, making out. Well, probably, yeah, they're having that, but like the, the kids, like, I can see, oh yeah, just quick pack kind of things like that. I can see people playing along with that and being fun and having a little bit of fun with it like that. Which, which isn't, which isn't bad. Fun little game, people like it, people have fun, people join into it. It's one of those things It's like, yeah, people can talk about it, have fun, play around, be, be goofy with it, go for it. Remember, like, things like that, it's all fun and games, and you have to keep it fun in games. Because, yeah, once it's not fun, and once it's, uh, 
Once people aren't having fun with it, it's no longer fun. Or once people remember it's not a game, when people start treating it like it's not a game anymore, that's when it loses its fun. It's like, hey, this is a fun little thing me and some buddies are doing, and then you just come in here and bring your crazy ideas or your weird stuff or your weird views and ideas, and you turn our fun little game that everyone is enjoying. I'm talking about everyone besides that person. So there's not a single soul at all that is participating in it, that is having fun, and then an outsider who's not even participating in it is the one who's complaining about something. So they make it not fun. Because why would you interview, like go intervene into some other people's things that they're doing and everyone else is having fun and you're not even playing and then you come in and make it not fun. People are there having fun with it, and it's not wrong, evil, or bad. It's just people playing around, just like, dude, that's the reason why people start fighting. Fighting and people hate each other. Lighting gear deployed. It's like, come on, just leave people, don't let people have their fun, because since 2020, we've all been locked in the houses, haven't been able to do shit, just kind of like, what the hell, dude? I'm bored. I have nothing to do. I can watch YouTube videos, play games, do this, paint models, whatever you do. Just whatever small little thing you do that you like to do hobby-wise. Do it. Me, since I work in the medical field, I've had work this whole time, so I've never had any time off. Yeah, there were a few little scares that some people have had about me or just like I wasn't feeling good once people freaked out gave me two weeks off paid paid vacation time pretty much two weeks paid time off to just make sure I don't have COVID and then eventually I went to a I went to a training class, and this training class had, uh, they were talking about, oh hey, there's somebody who uh, we believe have COVID in this training class. So you're going to be off for two weeks, but it's paid vacation or paid time off. If I'm going to get paid time off, I'm not going to complain and say like, okay, I don't want this time off, or I want to go back to work is, hey, if I'm going to get paid time off just to make sure I don't have COVID when I work in the medical field because a training class, one person uh, had symptoms of COVID and they, they wouldn't say who. So I, I know who. I know the person that they're talking about exactly. But this homie was not sick. This homie, is, he's an older gentleman. He is a pastor of a church. I went to a church, or not a pastor, a assistant pastor. Went to the church that he's at, and he's assistant pastor's of. And really nice church, nice people there, fun environment, nice people. I met his wife, met one of his kids. And the man can sing. He's in one of those churches where they sing a lot, and he could sing, and it's like, dude, <laughs> you could freaking sing, and that's good. I want to listen to this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm, I'm listening to him, and then and I liked it. I, I would, uh, I, I should probably uh, go back myself just because I had fun there, and it was nice to hang out with somebody I work with and, and seeing something that's outside of uh, work life. And just getting to, to know some people Mission in that kind, of, uh, that kind of environment, which was fun. Wasn't bad at all. Mission objective complete. No, I'm not gonna do that. Mission but objective continuing complete. it is that so he's not sick, he was just quitting smoking. And when you quit smoking, uh, as many smokers would know, is that you cough up a lot of stuff. You're getting a lot of stuff out because you're not putting stuff and refreshing it in your body. So your body is like, alrighty then, time to purge everything. Purge it all! Purge! 
purge. So yeah, purge and all that stuff. You're coughing, gagging. You literally sound like you're dying from freaking whooping cough half the time, which is probably a bad example. But whooping cough is a bad thing for you guys that didn't know. Is many children died from it in eras long past, and I don't know if they came up with a vaccine or something for it to stop it, but. The time that I've been growing up in, that whooping cough was never an issue for me or anyone else that I knew of. <clears throat> but continuing is that he's coughing up, and then and then I, I get a call literally the next day when I'm getting ready for work. Like, all right, I'll be going into work tomorrow, so I want to get everything because I go in early. And then it's like, oh hey. You're, uh, don't come in uh, tomorrow because somebody had uh, symptoms of COVID. So we're trying to stop everyone that was in the training class. That was the biggest training class we've had for a whole year. Yeah, they literally had a training class that was, it was cram packed. It was a lot of people, a lot of things going on. And they, they had like training classes about like 10 people. And everybody spread out. They decided, you know what? We could actually do this. Let's do a training class of 30 people. So they did a training class of 30 people. And it ended up badly. Where somebody thought it was COVID. So there was a lot of people out of work. A lot of people. And the company was like freaking out because it's like, dude, we literally have at least 10% of our company. Of our company. Like right now, well, the comp not the company as a whole, but the company as like, hey, our region, our district, our little area, our region in the state is like literally one, like about 10% uh, of the people were out and it's just like, oh crap, at once. And they were freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, we're freaking out. <laughs> Probably not exact, exactly like that, 100% just like that, voice and everything, <laughs> but yeah, so they were freaking out, and, and we were out, and I'm pretty damn sure every single soul, including me, was out for two weeks taking the paid vacation, Four, which was pretty three, fun. <laughs> two, one, uh, yeah, but alrighty then guys, I'm going to end the video here, so telling you guys is like and subscribe share my video help me grow comment tell me what i can do better what i can say better how i can do little things better to just become a better channel because i, I need that feedback Come on, and most importantly always love the camera you all take care